Flint Dicker, and you're watching the fucking news. It's actually been a very strange week for me, simply because the chickens have come home to roost. And it's, it's refreshing, yet slightly infuriating. I told many people from the get-go, it was very clear from E3 to anyone who had common sense, which I know isn't very common, that Bethesda was shitting out another game. It was literally Fallout 4, just Fallout 4 Online. I don't care what any big gaming journalist company says. I don't care what Jason Schweier says about game development. Fallout 76 was literally an asset flip of epic proportions. Anyone remotely into the modding scene has seen numerous modders come out and say, yeah, a lot of the same mods in Fallout 4 work just fine in Fallout 76. But for those of you that knew I was right, for those of you that were capable of seeing I was right, who also could see for themselves the writing that was on the wall, the writing that was written in diarrhea late in shit. Run! I'm gonna cook right. some food. Dude, I just look at him. <laughs> call me Cookie. <laughs> I'm just gonna call over him. Are you? Did you? Are you setting up camp over there? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna cook some food. Cook some ribeye steak. <laughs> nice. There was the legion of Bethesda fans that, for some reason, just didn't want to see the truth. That most of you came here for one thing. Todd Howard. Thank you. Much like Amaranth fans or Twitch guys who sit there and white knight for these girls on Twitch that will never, ever fuck you. They will never love you. They won't remember your name after you drop your tip. Bethesda is exactly the same. I'm surprised that it fit perfectly in the dimensions because I just like eyeballed it. I Yo, like, nailed it. Nailed it. Ow. Show banner? Okay. Ooh, that, that stinks, Rance. Yeah, that stinks. Yeah. I was greeted with many angry messages about how I was a hater, how I was a, uh, what the hell was, it? there's some other stupid phrase about drumming up drama, a hate monger, all this other crap. And it's just like, really dude, you're gonna sit here and tell me looking at this, that you don't smell the shit? Then the, the beta comes out. I like to thank Fantex for hooking me and Zeltex up with beta keys. The only reason we played it on stream is because we knew. <laughs> that we wouldn't like the game. We already knew what it was going to be. There's no way around it. I would not nice. edit this dude. I got to take what off the, the controller to aim. I can't shoot through the window. You can't? Are you serious? You cannot. Try it. Wow. OK, that was on. Now what? Screams, you idiot. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, OK. What are these glass oh. shards? Oh. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? Look out. Oh, why me? Thank God. DG's asking your opinion on the game so far. Oh, D girl, uh, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> this, uh, you'd really, really have to love the shit out of Fallout for this. Like, it's so nothing. It's so mediocre. Like, I'm not really drawn into it. I don't care about what's going on. I'm cluelessly wandering around, spending most of my time arguing with Zill. So just like every other game. He, well, at least in other games. Fucking punchy traps, bro. I could have walked on this. What the fuck? You like the retarded um, Bob Vila. After playing the beta, it was evidently clear. Anyone who had this game and could cancel it should have done so. Instead, there were the litany of people screaming, it's just a beta. They'll fix it. I'm just like, are you on drugs? Are you on, what are you smoking? What, what's in your vape juice, young man? Because it's laced with heroin. Bethesda doesn't fix shit. Ever. Ever. Forever, 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 ever, forever, ever. Once is still poor on PS4. Putting more time into the campaign, battles show horrendous slowdown, even patched, with frame time spikes all over the place on the left graph. Pulling the trigger on any gun, and especially full automatics, will chew into frame rates until the clip's unloaded. So what that means is, the one moment you need that solid performance is taken away from you. Taking down enemies with grenades makes it plummet further on PS4, and it becomes too erratic to hold your target reticle on any enemy for much longer than a second. 
This was a problem in Fallout 4, but it can't go on like this for an online game where team play is a factor. Any combat with weapons more powerful than a handgun just seems to tank performance. Next there's the stutters. It's a problem on every console, even on patch 1.02. This is something that's pointed out as improved in Bethesda's patch notes, but using PS4 as an example, I see absolutely no change here. In fact, these hitches are so common and extreme, the frame time graph can barely read the extent of the drop at times. Bethesda fixes nothing. Bethesda doesn't even give a fuck about its own lore. Bethesda doesn't care. And somehow these people were under the delusion that Bethesda would fix itself. Fallout 76 has come out and everybody who was on the fence is now getting a face full of reality. A mouth full of shit. It's a sandwich and you're eating it, baby. Even IGN and GameSpot can't give this great reviews. Fallout 76 also has fewer opportunities to complete quests in your own unique ways, which exacerbates the sense that you don't really have a huge part to play in this wasteland. Traditional charisma skills are gone, but lockpicking, hacking, and stealth abilities remain, and provide a little bit of variety. But the overwhelming majority of quests have clear, linear through lines to their respective goals, all of which involve shooting a lot of things. Most disappointingly, when you do begin to find some small joy in exploring Fallout 76's world, you're often not far from falling victim to the series' now characteristic penchant for technical oddities. Whether caused by the game engine or the online server-based nature of the game, I've run into countless issues in the PC version, even after the game received a major patch in its first week of release. Problems like clipping through the world, frozen animations, entire buildings failing to load, enemies getting stuck in walls or just not moving, audio logs not playing, enemies spawning out of midair, delayed damage detection and world effects. Was it all worth the trouble? Probably not. And that's when I knew I was done with Fallout 76. Finally, the fact there's a cash shop with obscenely expensive cosmetic items adds some insult to the overall injury. Frankly, I feel like giving Fallout 76 a 5 IGN was beyond generous. Fallout 76 is a 2 at best. At fucking best. Who ever heard of a game coming out in the patch for it's bigger than the game itself? What type of logic is this? And any respectable publication has already admitted that Fallout 76 is horrible. It's so bad it's not funny. It seems a distant memory now, but cast your mind back only two months or so where we literally had no idea what Fallout 76 was. We didn't know what sort of game it was trying to be because Bethesda was so unwilling to show us. Trying to understand what Fallout 76 was felt like reading tea leaves. Now, in retrospect, it's clear that the reticence to share any information was designed to obfuscate how little appeal this game held to anyone. It's rare that I would ever declare a game immoral, but I think the sum total of these deliberate tactics to deceive and ensnare consumers marks a low point for Bethesda and for games in general. This was a deliberate campaign to trick you into buying this shoddy product, and I honestly take pleasure in the knowledge that it's been largely unsuccessful. Yeah! And I think the only reason why everyone's getting on the bandwagon and waking up and admitting it's bad is because it's universally panned now. Now everyone's willing to say something is horrible. And that's what bothers me. Now everybody's on the hate train. Before, when I was sitting there saying this is a pile of shit, everyone told me what a dickbag I was. Now all of a sudden, everyone agrees, and I haven't gotten one I'm sorry message. Dearest Gundam, I am here to say I am egregiously sorry for calling you a shit stirrer. You are actually a paragon of human virtue, and your psychic abilities are nothing short of amazing. Every day since the game has been out, it's just gotten worse and worse for Fallout. Fallout 76 players launched three nukes at once and clashed the server. UK launch sales for Fallout 76 is down by 80% from Fallout 4, which is amazing. Because frankly, in retrospect, Fallout 4 is a good game compared to Fallout 76. <laughs> Kill me, please. I want to die. It pains me to say that. To say that Fallout 4 was good. It's the equivalent of punching myself in the left testicle with a spike. Fallout 76 is so bad, I'd rather play Fallout 4. And I hated Fallout 4. Giant bomb. They're not even going to review the game because none of their editors want to play it. You know, someone asked me yesterday, like, hey, you know, when you think your review is going to go up? And I'm like, I, no one, 
no one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. Like th- this, we, I, I'm not going to subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. It's really upsetting. To, to just to put a number on it. I, My I, number is fucking don't play this game. There's just no end to this shit store and it's glorious. This basically proves everything I've been saying for the past, what, how many years since Fallout 4 has come out that Bethesda was lazy in their hacks. A lot of people hated me for it. There are even modders on the Nexus that will sit there and agree with me in private, but they can't say shit to me in open for fear of a retaliation, of agreeing with me for saying that Bethesda just fucking sucks. The games suck. They're lazy. Their writers are shit. Bethesda is garbage. I know someone might go, oh, I don't want to shit on people making a video game. Ah, fuck off. People shit on. If I do anything wrong, guess what? People let me know. I get shit on. So I'm sorry, Bethesda is not going to be immune. For all the money Bethesda has made off of the Fallout franchise, this is the best they could come up with. Twice in a row, they have given us garbage. Fallout 4. And I honestly thought they couldn't make something worse than Fallout 4. But I'll be damned if P. Hines didn't stand on a stage and say, oh, these aren't paid mods. These are mini DLCs, but they're not DLC. So that means you won't get them for free (laughs) if you bought the Seasons Pass. For those who don't know, the Seasons Pass covered all DLC for Fallout 4. So when the whole paid mod things happened and Pete Hines was jiggling around that little bullshit, oh, it's mini DLC. And then the fans were like, well, if it's mini DLC, technically... You know, we should be getting the DLC for free. That's what you said in your EULA. And then he turns around and backtracks again. Stuff it up your ass. Garbage ass game. Fucking disgusting. The goose that laid the golden egg and they shot it with a 12 gauge and obliterated the fucking thing. My God. This sack of nothingness. I remember people were saying, how can you have an opinion about Fallout 76? You just played the beta. And I was like, dude, if you played the beta, you played the whole fucking game. You played the whole game. Betas today are just early access. Stop trying to pretend betas are what they were 20 fucking years ago. It's over now. When a company puts out a beta, that's the game. If you don't like the beta, don't buy the game. Don't sit there and think they're going to do jack shit in two weeks to magically make it better. This isn't a Disney movie. You're not Aladdin. And Robin Williams is fucking dead. Fallout 76 has a wonderful bug that has made one of the characters invincible. And now the player of this character wishes for the sweet release of death. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's that, what type of article is this? Fallout 76 player begs. But this, this is a real article. I'm sorry. My character my character is currently on killer. Hold on. Oh, shit. My character currently is a killer. Begins Reddit user. Roll. Gadlin, I don't know what the fuck his name is. And I mean really unkillable. She can even eat a nuke blast to the face and be fine. There's literally zero ways that she can die, even if I wanted her to, which I very much do at this point. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's, it's a crazy idea. Delete the fucking game. Oh my God, what an article. I would have prayed for the sweet release of a refund if I bought this fucking game. You know what's funny? Zill thought he was going to troll me one day. He was like, dude, you know, we should just buy Fallout 4 so that we could delete the game because we can't delete it because we got a gifted copy. You see, he thought he tricked me somehow into buying Fallout 4 to delete it, whatever this is, Fallout 76. And then he'd go, huh, huh, idiot. <laughs> you bought Fallout 76 just to delete the game. Now you pay for it, dummy. Fucker. I just went in there and deleted that shit manually. But the drama and dumpster fire didn't even stop there. There was a video that hit YouTube. It was actually very well edited and incredibly funny. It was called, This is Fallout 76, a AAA $60 experience. It immediately shot to a million views within 24 hours. It highlighted the numerous bugs in the game using multiple clips from Twitch streamers. This led to issues for Tarek or Tarek the Dooku, whatever. I don't know the guy's name where one of these streamers became upset and wanted credit for the clip in the video. This led to a a slight spat and the video got copyright claim. From what I understand, it'll be back up in no time. Personally, I feel copyright striking over a two to three second clip or even five of your Fallout 76 gameplay is a douchebag move. 
That's my personal opinion. I mean, nobody came to that video because they knew you were on it. Nothing personal, not to hurt your fragile ego. Fallout 76 didn't just got review bombed on Metacritic. They gave it a score of 55. It's now lower than the last Sonic Adventure game. But the user score is a 2.9. It's littered with many sad tales of people who've played this game and were less than enthralled by its everything. I can't say anything good about this game, honestly, dude. And the sad thing is, Bethesda put this out and they knew it was bad. They didn't back out. They didn't change their mind. There was no love put into this. There was no effort. They changed the lure of the game as they pleased. And they didn't give a shit. At E3, Todd Howard was even smug about Fallout 76. And to that end, we're going to need your help. Because yes, we are going to have a beta. I think that the much talked about beta was also inherently exploitative and deceptive. Firstly, it was only open to pre-order customers. This is not an unheard of practice in and of itself, but almost every bit of marketing you see for Fallout 76 sells access to the beta as a key selling point for pre-ordering. And it is sponsored by our friends at vault as well, the Break It Early test application. Beta access should not be a selling point for any product. The fact that your progress is carried over from the beta into the game's full release further compounded the marketing value of this beta. Clearly Bethesda were looking to lock in excited Fallout fans eager to be the first to play the new Fallout adventure. Fans who did foolishly put their money down on this scam were thrilled to find that the beta was only available during very specific timing windows, often when people were at work or otherwise unable to play. This was made worse by a PC bug that deleted the beta client on the first day of the beta and the fact that a near 50 gigabyte patch was issued halfway through the beta that fixed almost nothing. Because evidently, these online games are hard, they can have some nasty issues. I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> I did, I read it on the internet, so it's true. And that uh, sometimes, it doesn't just work. Yeah, your games are buggy, Todd, and you're fucking short. Frankly, at this point, it's evidently clear what Fallout 76 was mainly geared towards. The main objective of Fallout 76 was this, microtransactions. They wanted a games as service game that already had a built in IP and fan base in hopes that they could just churn out some soulless piece of shit and maybe the Fallout fans would accept it and not only accept it, but spend money on it. I've been sent screen caps of the most recent prices of Fallout 76 crap and it's fairly disgusting. $8 for a bomber jacket. $18 for a American Patriot paint scheme for your power armor. There are items that were in Fallout 4, like the US Postal Uniform. You can now have it for $7. Things like tattoos that were obviously just free in Fallout 4 because basically they were just in the game. They were in the game. Now these assets are flipped, put in Fallout 76, and they charge you for it. They charge you for shit that was just a feature in the last game. Fallout 76 deserves all of the shit they are getting. Every last bit of it. Bethesda deserves this. Because they purposefully made this game and didn't give a fuck. Their objective was to try and pump something out for money. And you know what's sad? Bethesda probably won't learn from this. They should, but they won't. Elder Scrolls 6 is going to have the same engine. Starfield is going to be on the same engine. If Bethesda has a brain in their head, they're going to look at everything that has gone on and they're going to say, we need to make a change or else. This has to be a wake up call. And I don't know, maybe get rid of Elm Parson, whatever his name is, and get Chris Avalon to write the next fucking Elder Scrolls. To get him to write Starfield, to get him to write a Fallout, do something that shows that you give a shit. But they won't at all. And they deserve it. Fallout 76 is a slap in the face of gamers is a waste of time and it shows you one thing that has been evidently clear to many of us for years but now the whole mainstream is getting the the idea bethesda is lazy and victory has defeated them doing well despite the fact fallout 4 was horrible was the worst thing that could happen to bethesda because now they think they can do no wrong they thought they could release a game with all the same bugs from the previous fallout and make it online multiplayer and cram in microtransactions and everything would be fine. It's ridiculous. 
And I don't want to hear shit about like, oh, well, you need friends to play this game. Otherwise, it's not fun, you loser. Oh, fuck off. You need friends to make a game fun? Is that what is that what gaming is now? They just put out something where I have to create my own fun and entertainment? When the Avengers comes out, do you have to act out the scenes yourself and dress as fucking Thanos and have magic powers? Do you? What, what the fuck is the future? The future is going to be game publishers are going to give you the tools to make your own game and then they'll charge you for the privilege of doing it. And you know what will happen? People will probably buy into it because most... People are fucking gullible sheep. Look at it! So it doesn't come with a CD, it just comes with this thing telling me how to download the game online. So essentially I have two game cases, but no game. But overall, I have an unpopular opinion about Fallout 76. If you search Fallout 76 review on YouTube, most of what you'll find is people shitting all over it. And I like it, I don't, I don't get it, I like the game. I mean, if you go into it with certain expectations or thinking that it's going to be Fallout 5, then yeah, sure, you won't like this game. If you went into this game with a certain expectation of liking it, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, really, in all honesty, I don't know what the fuck the thought process was here, watching this again. My expectation was the game not to be utter garbage, and it was. And nobody came into this thinking it was Fallout 5. So this is like one of the worst excuses I've ever heard defending this game. Next to, oh, they'll fix it because it's a beta. But it's not meant to be Fallout 5. In a very broad scope, it's Fallout 4 online with a new location and a new story. And the weird thing is, he's fine with it being Fallout 4 online. You've literally been sold the same game again with less features. They sold you the same game, but they put it online and they removed content and even locked some of it behind a paywall. And you're like... This is great. I needed Todd Howard to nickel and dime me a little more. I felt I was getting too much with Fallout 4. The mechanics are the same. The graphics are the same. The quests are similar. There's just actual people running around now. And that's not to say that there's nothing new or exciting about 76 if you've played Fallout 4. This whole world is packed full of excitement and personality. And the most common remarks I see about 76 is that it's empty, it's dull, the quests aren't exciting, and I've experienced the exact opposite of that. The whole world is packed with excitement and personality. This guy is fucking crazy. The most personality I got from the game was playing with Zell. And the angry dude who I met inside the vault who was so angry because the voice chat was on. Like, literally. Oh my god, my head. This guy has to be in an alternate universe where Fallout 76 was actually good. It is dull. The quests are all fetch quests. Fallout 76 is literally side missions. The crap you didn't really care to do in Fallout 4, this is the entire game of Fallout 76. And it's nauseating. Speaking of nauseating, the head bobble, it made me and Zill sick. And when I went on Google, I found that we weren't the only ones who played Fallout till we felt like we could vomit because of this shitty ass design. First off, it's beautiful. No matter where you are, what time of day, what the weather is, the landscape is beautiful. And it's not just all autumn trees, by the way. The map is pretty diverse. One part would be autumn trees, another part, the sky is full of ash. Another is a completely dead wasteland. And there's even a part that makes it look like you're on another planet. The fact he has to sit there and tell you that Fallout 76 is beautiful is sad. It doesn't look... No, 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 it is bad. Dude, there's so many textures that don't load properly. I remember going up to a telephone pole and it looked like ice cream. Trees popping in and out. Buildings not loading. And it's like, well, it's a beautiful game. Okay, maybe if you look from a certain angle on top of a mountain down at some trees where nothing's loading retardedly, it looks okay. But once you get in the, the nitty gritty, it is horrible. The textures and meshes. Ah, oh, I can't keep I can't keep doing this to myself. Ah, oh, these Fallout videos just this is why I don't make a Fallout video every time some new information comes out, because I'm just so appalled by the game. It makes me lethargic and queasy. I, I can't even do it with this guy. Like, Bethesda should be paying this dude.
don't ever love something to the point of where you can see no fault in it, except maybe a dog or a cat. And even then, they're still assholes. But here's the difference between a dog and a cat in Fallout 76. Your pets love you. Fallout 76 only wants money from you. This game is atrocious. I'm glad Red Dead Redemption 2 is out. I don't even have a console and I'm happy it's out because it's kicking the ever-loving shit out of Fallout 4 and it deserves it. Take-Two Interactive is no better than ZeniMax, but at least they know how to put out a good product. I'll give them that. Oh, this just got sent to me. Bethesda is reportedly offering refunds for Fallout 76 on PC. Well, it's about damn time. They originally didn't want to give anybody refunds, but I think they saw that it would cause them more grief to not give refunds than to do so. Yeah, well, at least if you got this piece of shit and you don't like it, you can get your money back. So that's a positive, right? Great comment, subscribe, so choose to, if not to help it. I, I gotta get away from this. I can't, I don't even want to do a video on Fallout. You know, I I've just spent, as you've noticed, I've avoided a lot of the Fallout news video crap. Even the black guy beating up fucking GameStop, supposedly over Fallout 76. I just, just like, I was so sick of the game, I didn't even want to kick the shit out of it. But I figured I may as well say goodbye to this shit snackery. Because Lord knows Bethesda will only rile me up later when Starfield and Elder Scrolls come out. And it's the same buggy mess 